Is hair transplant permanent? What is the life of transplanted hair? Will I lose my transplanted hairs as I lost the previous ones? How long transplanted hair last? These are those questions which bother you before you decide for permanent solution for your hair loss that is hair transplantation. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Preeti Saraswath from Saraswath Hospital and Twacha by Saraswath. I'm a diplomat of American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. Today we will be talking about a basic question everyone asks. Is hair transplant permanent? Just before we discuss this, please type yes in the comment section below if you want a permanent solution to your baldness. Stay tuned for more information on which conditions can lead to more hair loss in the transplanted area. So this brings us to today's discussion. Is hair transplant permanent? It's extremely important to identify the limits of safe toner area before planning your FUE hair transplant by your hair transplant doctor. Harvesting of roots from the unsafe toner area can result in an early loss of transplanted hairs. This frequently happens with clinics offering only FUE hair transplant. A good hair transplant clinic should be equally qualified to perform both FUE and FUT techniques if there is requirement of a large number of grafts. During consultation, your doctor should discuss if the pattern of your hair loss is running in maternal or paternal family. Ideally, the planning of the technique should be scientifically done after trichoscopic hair analysis. The transplanted hairs are permanent, but since all tissues and cells in the body undergo aging process, these hairs also get thinner and gray as the hair at the donor area as you age. One more observation worth taking note here is that when hair transplant is done in an area which is not completely bald, the area may look less dense if the existing hair fall out. And now for the question that had propped up. Which condition can lead to more hair loss in the transplanted area? Sometimes after major illness, you see COVID, typhoid fever, any surgery, severe stress, etc. You may lose transplanted as well as non-transplanted hair temporarily, which is called telogen effluvium. If this condition becomes long standing, it is called chronic delusion effluvium. So to summarize, if your hair transplant has been planned meticulously and your hairs have been harvested from the safe donor area, that is to say, your doctor has made a master plan for your current and future hair loss at the time of very first consultation, the transplanted hair should last for a very, very long time. Thank you.